Hello and welcome to another series from the SSCAI tournament, which stands for Student StarCraft AI tournament, uh, which means that those are not players um, competing against each other, those uh, are um, bots, uh, so called artificial intelligences, intelligences, which were created by programmers around the world. Uh, to compete in this tournament, which was held uh, end of 2013, and after the bracket where all the students played against each other, the tournament admin made another tournament with the eight best bots. Uh, doesn't matter if they were from students or not. And in this game, Krasimir Khrushchev plays against Ice Lab in the grand final of uh, this tournament and yes it's Terran against Terran and uh, Krasimir Khrushchev has a very solid bot, is even maybe the favorite and Icelab has this very strong bot too, is from, um, from Japan, from a group of researchers and is performing as you have seen I hope uh, very well and yeah, let's see who uh, takes the trophy uh, home from this tournament. So they're scouting, the Ice Lab has as usual a very aggressive um, <laughs> build, uh, pla placement of his uh, first barracks. Uh, it's also it's aggressive and it's uh, very defensively because n um, with the barracks here he can wall off quite nicely which is not that useful against Terrans, but um, but he doesn't care. <laughs> He's a little bit um, vulnerable to early aggression, but as soon as he gets his bunker up, he'll be safe. And early aggression in TVT is not that common. They both take their gas at a very similar time, with Icelab a little bit in the lead and both the workers circle around the base to get intel for as long as possible. Oh, yes. Only about a 20 gas lead for Icelab, which is not that impeccable, but we will see. In TVT it's very, uh, very important to get tanks out as fast as possible. And yeah, our first marine is on chase for this poor SUV. Oh, he got himself cornered, but he's lucky that Krasimir doesn't care. No, he dodged that bullet. <laughs> and now he's back to scouting. And Krasimir's uh, SUV has oh, only 7 HP left and gets out of there. So this is. Now it's over for Krasimir to have all the information. And on the other side, this SV is on chase from one marine, but... And the second marine... Uh, run, run! What's happening here? Okay, uh, that's the scouting SV coming back. And yeah, who gets the, bar uh, the factory first? Uh, looks like Krasimir. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, it's crossing me about it's not that of a great uh, time difference. <laughs> yeah, now they are dream. Oh, now he's cornered. Now he's. Is he going to die? Oh, oh he lives. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Oh, Casimir's SVs are a little bit confused. This turn SV. Uh, but no, no, that's his dad. <laughs> Death. So, Icelab prepares for an ex very early expansion. Meantime. Another factory is on the way for Casimir, and two SV looks like they are bugged out. Siege mode on the way. But, yeah. 
that expansion is very important because as soon as it's finished uh, he can mine gas from two geysers and his mineral income will be much better. So bunker because as you can see he has so many SVs. Oh he pulls out of gas. I wouldn't have done that because it's oversaturated on the minerals but um, I guess they go back as soon as he has less than 100 gas. Now he can uh, he needs the minerals, so it's debatable, and now they are back. Uh, he has his first tank out, but Krasimir looks like uh, he wants to plant it down. Should happen as soon as possible, because he will fall back very, very far. No, no, yeah. Here's the second gas. No, it's up and running. Nice splitting of the SCVs. And spider mines are on the way. And an armory before the second factory. That's ballsy though. Now the Krasimir's uh, command center goes up, and here also has a bunker and a few tanks. So now there's no possible window for aggression for both players because sieged up tanks are so good at defending. <laughs> oh, what are you doing here? Guess he's going to scout. Oh, yeah, Marines versus Siege Shop tanks. But now he knows, and maybe he's going for a little contain while. Mm, yep. Contain would be very strong because yeah, he could siege up about here and nothing can get out. And with the uh, barracks, he can get vision. Which is very important because siege tanks shoot uh, one field uh, far more f uh, mm, farer than they can see, so it's very good for them to have <laughs> vision. <laughs> There's an engineering bay seeing this, and yeah, works. It's very good in holding this position where the bunker can't attack it. Uh, Walshers are roaming the map, as long as he's only on two ways, I guess uh, he's not that concerned about that contain. Uh, let's look, oh, plus eins attack on the way, a lot more factories going up to five, I guess. One, two, three, four, ah, four. And now he borrows Widow Mines, a common technique, which is very good because you can. Uh, now you can't build a command center on top of that. Ah, something shot. Why? Okay, those marines are totally useless. But now he goes for very for the close up. Oh, and he can reach this. As you can see on the minimap, he mined, uh, he placed a mine on nearly every expansion. No, the rockets for Goliaths are coming because battle cruiser would be possible by by now, but uh, Starport is, has just finished for crossing here. Yep, and something tried to. <laughs> <laughs> enter the no man's land because everything in here will die instantly. That's a nice pattern. <laughs> Placement. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing gets out of here. He could if he would sneak around the bottom, but he does not know that. 
Uh, no. <laughs> oh no no. Oh, he re reacted very fast and lives with 2 HP and gets repaired. Oh no, no that was too hard. But now there's a dropship with 3 Goliaths. He tries to bypass, uh, bypass the uh, contain and gets four Goliaths out of there. This is a very dangerous place. Drops his Goliaths in the enemy base, place, but there is already a siege tank prepared. And yeah, and Marines come to the rescue, and he retreats. But at least uh, he got that going for him, which is nice. <laughs> but yeah, now he has to act quickly because the contain um, will be back soon. <laughs> yeah. the supply it's very close with ice lab a little bit in the lead and yeah oh, he has a lot of bases now he has four or five bases against the enemy too but again in tank versus tank, uh, anything is possible. <laughs> if he does uh, um, so is he going for another drop? How does he want to do all that? Those are a lot of tanks, but can't attack into the siege up position. But losing those is pretty big. Maybe now he can really break the contain, the semi contain, which is only in one direction. And. Yeah, now he takes the low roll to get to the those expansions, I guess. And this container is totally ineffective. He lost a lot of units and has only a few tanks left. But he has a good amount of supply. They're pretty even. And yeah, he gets that. Those mine, this mine placement. <laughs> tank down here to prevent those vultures to uh, kill all the workers, but this tank is not long for this world. And oh, and oh, oh, those shots were amazing. Looks like Islap is losing control of this game, because this is an army, and oh, you can't run into this. The sign vessel is also going to die, adding insult to injury. And, uh, this tank, at least, has 12 kills, but that's not enough. No, the supplies, I guess, are very up. They're still even, okay. The economy of Islap is incredibly strong, but his forces are scattered all over the place. Oh, and there's a battle cruiser for free for Crescent here. One twenty to one forty in supply. <laughs> a barracks. 
Okay, maybe you lost it somewhere. Uh, there's another battle cruiser, but there are more than enough Goliaths to deal with it. Even, yeah. And one one upgrades against one zero. Uh, this battle cruiser switch wasn't that effective. Oh, yeah. oh and even Cloud Drafts. With a really nice breath. Wow. This amazing horse army moves across the map. It's, uh, with four bots, it's uh, more difficult than you think. And uh, especially with ground units, because the pathing is so um, so difficult and stupid. <laughs> uh, yeah, now he's got 144. Yeah, it's 125. But. Uh, That's this army is unstoppable. And Yep. No I slaps on panic mode and loses units left left and right and the, those battle cruisers don't stand a chance. Because Goliaths are Yeah, that's their job. <laughs> Killing battle cruisers. Those refs are a nice addition. And I guess we can see that this game is going going down. He's now he's uh, finally he's dropping in supply. It's very oppressive to hold it that long. Oh, what the hero tank? But nope. there it's gone. And I speeded the process a little bit up because in uh, bots vs bots, their primary target is to win the game, and they don't care about time <laughs> because they're bots and so they really take their time to make sure they win and don't kill the opponents um, buildings that fast and uh, also another factor is that the other bot doesn't GG because why should he give up? <laughs> Um, yep. Oh, looks like we're going to X16, but you see it's only cleanup duty. And yeah, so we see the gold medal goes to Krasimir Grischev. Uh, congratulations. This, uh, to, yeah, as a fellow Terran programmer, my bot's also Terran, I, uh, yeah. I'm really glad to see that because there were a lot of Protoss, very good Protoss uh, bots in the competition, but Terran comes out on top. And yeah. Dum 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 and finish. So, if you happen, thanks for watching. Bye bye.